how to transfer data from your iPhone 5, 6 or 7 to the Samsung Galaxy S8. Now you can see here before you start um, transferring the data over to the new phone you should have both phones charged up fully to 100% because you don't want it to uh, shut down halfway because your phone is running out of battery. Now you're going to need to use the USB connector this is a smart switch that comes with your Samsung Galaxy S8. In this method, we're going to use this uh, smart switch to transfer data over from your iPhone to the Galaxy S8. We, in this video, we're going to use the US, USB cable method. So, with this uh, iPhone USB cable, we can plug into the hole here. And then, on your Galaxy S8, we're going to plug in the smart switch USB cable of the device and then from here we're going to plug the USB cable into the smart switch now immediately you can see it's just trying to connect the phone to your iPhone you may need to click or you may need to tap on the trust button if it shows up uh, previously I already have a tap on the trust button on your iPhone on the iPhone here so if the iPhone asks you to um, tap on the trust button, just tap on the trust button for the transfer to proceed. Now on your Galaxy S8, it shows a progress bar here. It is searching for the data on the iPhone. Okay, once it has finished searching for the content, now you can uh, tell to see how much data it's going to transfer over. And you can go down the list here and choose what you want to uh, transfer over. For example, contacts you can select or deselect. If you don't want, if you do not want to transfer the messages over, you can simply deselect it. So tapping on the check on the side here to uh, choose whether you want to uh, move the items over or not. So go down the list, and you've got uh, music, photos, videos, and other things that you can also transfer over to your Samsung Galaxy S8 once you have made your selection just simply tap on the transfer button at the bottom and now the device is preparing the transfer this can take several hours if there are a lot of data to be transferred over so just wait it says 16 minutes here but uh, in the past I have experienced it takes a lot longer than that so it's just uh, simply in, uh, wait and uh, be patient for your device to transfer all the data over. And that is pretty much it. Okay, after some time your device is finished, you can see it shows the finished page here. You can uh, tap on the download button to download some more apps. You can go down the list and see what you've got. Music, photos and videos, you can check them to see all the files that has been moved over. And once you're happy, once it's finished, you can tap on the close app. And that's it. Thanks for watching this video.